What this campaign is about is the understanding that the rich get richer and everybody else gets poorer because we are not standing together as one people. And when we talk about bringing our people together, I hope all of you understand that it is absolutely imperative that we bring 11 million undocumented people out of the shadows. cannot continue to live in fear, cannot continue to be exploited, cannot continue not to have legal rights. I was in Phoenix a few weeks ago, and after my remarks, I met with about a half a dozen young Hispanic kids, and tears were flowing from their eyes because they feared that their mom or their dad or they would be deported. Our job is to bring families together, not separate them. Our job is to provide legal rights for the undocumented. Our job is to pass comprehensive immigration reform and a rule citizenship. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, you all know that the world we live in today is a pretty crazy place. We turn on the TV and we see acts of barbarism that we cannot understand. People blowing up things, killing people, killing children. Uh, it's horrible. And nobody that I know has any magical answers to some of these terrible international situations. But this I do know. I spoke to the President the other day and we talked about his negotiations with Iran and the treaty and the agreement he hopes to bring about. It is my strong belief that Iran should not get a nuclear weapon. But it is my stronger belief, or equally important, that we have got to bring that about and do everything we possibly can to accomplish that goal without another war. against the war in Iraq. It is amazing to me to see most of my Republican colleagues forget about the cost of war. Not just the 6,700 brave men and women who died. Not just those who came home without legs and arms and eyesight but those 500,000 who came home with post-traumatic stress disorder and traumatic brain disease. Not only must we, as our highest priority, provide the best quality health care to all of our veterans, but we must also understand we must also understand the true cost of war and the pain and horror it brings to so many. And that is why, that is why war has got to be the last recourse, not the first. Brothers and 
sisters, we live in the wealthiest country in the history of the world. If we get our priorities right, if we don't give more tax breaks to billionaires and develop policy which hurts working people, if we stand together, if we think big and not small, there is nothing we cannot accomplish. We can. We can guarantee health care to every man, woman, and child as a right. We can make certain that every parent in America has quality, affordable child care, and every American can get a higher education regardless of the income of the family. We can make certain that our seniors, our parents, do not have to choose between food and medicine and can live out their retirement with dignity. When we stand together, there is nothing, nothing, nothing we cannot accomplish. Let's go!